Friday, the 16th of July, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 10. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Saviour, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. 
we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths. In the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 35. Fight those who fight me, O Lord. Attack those who are attacking me. Take up shield and armor and rise up to help me. Draw the sword and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and humbled. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be dismayed. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord drive them away. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause, Without a cause they have dug a pit to take me alive. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they hid. Let them fall into the pit they dug. Then I will be joyful in the Lord. I will glory in His victory. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those who are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Malicious witnesses rise up against me. They charge me with matters I know nothing about. They pay me evil in exchange for good. My soul is full of despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth and humbled myself by fasting. I prayed with my whole heart, as one would for a friend or a brother. I behaved like one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and grieving. But when I stumbled, they were glad and gathered together. They gathered against me. Strangers whom I did not know tore me to pieces and would not stop. They put me to the test and mocked me. They gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from the roaring beasts and my life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throne. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me without a cause wink at each other. For they do not plan for peace, but invent deceitful schemes against the quiet in the land. 
they opened their mouths at me and said, Ah, we saw it with our own eyes. You saw it, O Lord. Do not be silent. O Lord, be not far from me. Awake, arise to my cause. To my defense, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them triumph over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Aha, just what we want. Do not let them say, We have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my ruin be ashamed and disgraced. Let those who boast against me be clothed with dismay and shame. Let those who favor my cause sing out with joy and be glad. Let them say always, Great is the Lord who desires the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall be talking of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of Joshua, chapter 4, beginning at verse 19. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and they camped in Gilgal, on the east border of Jericho. Those twelve stones which they had taken out of the Jordan Joshua set up in Gilgal, saying to the Israelites, When your children ask their parents in time to come, What do these stones mean? Then you shall let your children know. Israel crossed over the Jordan here on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan for you until you crossed over as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up for us until we crossed over, so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty, and so that you may fear the Lord your God forever. When all the kings of the Amorites beyond the Jordan to the west and all the kings of the Canaanites by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan for the Israelites until they had crossed over, their hearts melted, and there was no longer any spirit in them because of the Israelites. While the Israelites were camping in Gilgal, they kept the Passover in the evening on the fourteenth day of the month in the plains of Jericho. On the day after the Passover, on that very day, they ate the produce of the land, unleavened cakes and parched grain. The manna ceased on the day they ate the produce of the land, and the Israelites no longer had manna. They ate the crops on the land of Canaan that year. Once when Joshua was in Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing before him with a drawn sword in his hand. Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you one of us or one of the adversaries? He replied, Neither, but as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped, and he said to him, What do you command your servant, my Lord? The commander of the army of the Lord said to Joshua, Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy. 
and Joshua did so. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Saviour. For you have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation, you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 26, beginning at verse 17. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man, and say to him, the teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they began, became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside, worship you without growing weary, serve you without failing, diligently seek you, happily find you, and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. Collect for proper ten. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Collect for Fridays. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or conceive, by the power which is to work among us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all ages. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.